morning, and welcome to the class of 2023 senior graduation. At this time, I ask the graduates to remain standing, and could all family and friends please rise so we can do our pledges. We will begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We will now move to our scholar pledge. I pledge to do my best this day to honor myself and everything I do, to accept responsibility for my own learning and to encourage others as I embrace my own opportunities to grow to exercise leadership and prepare myself for college at every opportunity. For me, mediocrity is not an option, only excellence will do. Who I am has value, what I think has value, coquito ergo sum, who I will become is invaluable to the world. You may be seated. At this time, it's my privilege to introduce our student elected speaker, Mr. Mark Chavez. Events and planning that we wouldn't be able to enjoy these events ourselves. 
I wanted to state this to let everyone know that throughout the rest of your lives, take time to, to step back and enjoy for yourself. Don't forget to live your own lives and create memories because it, is, because it is through this process that we establish memories, friendships, and experiences. Before we cross this stage, I want to wish the best upon all the graduates here regardless of career choices, pursuing a university education, or joining the workforce. I, believe, I truly believe that you will be embedded on a marvelous journey and do great things with your lives. And by following your passion, I know you will succeed. Lastly, thank you to all the parents that have guided the graduates before us today. It is through your dedication and support that many of my peers are sitting here today. Mom, Dad, I love you, and thank you for, giving, for not giving up and giving everything that you had to offer to assure me a better life. Lastly, seniors, I leave you with the message. Behind you, all your memories. Before you, all your dreams. Around you, all who love you. And within you is all you need. Sé que ha sido difícil expresar nuestros sentimientos. 
sentimientos, pero quiero que sepas cuánto te amo y estoy agradecida por los años que has dedicado para mantener a mis hermanos y a mí. I want to say thank you to my brothers for being a safe place for me. I can't count the number of times where the both of you had made me laugh when I was sad, or the number of times you bought me things, you bought me things that I wanted because I didn't have any money. I promise to pay you back when my college degree starts bringing me checks. <laughs> and I'm grateful that I have an older brother to prepare me for what lies ahead, and I'm happy that I have a younger brother who I can guide during his senior year. I've always said how much I wished I had a sister, but having two amazing brothers really makes up for it. La única razón por la que estoy en este escenario a minutos, a minutos de graduarme es por una mujer y es mi mamá. Cuando ella tenía alrededor de 17 años, salió de su casa para ir a trabajar y por varios años vivía con extraños. Después de tomar la decisión de emigrar a los Estados Unidos, luchó contra la duda y el miedo, no solo para mantener a su familia en México, sino también para mantener a su familia que pronto crearía. Ella es a quien veo cuando pienso en la palabra amor. La he visto sacrificar su tiempo, energía, sueño y mucho más para que mis hermanos y yo podamos tener las mejores oportunidades. Soy su única hija, así que sé, sé que debe ser difícil para ella verme ir a la universidad tan lejos, pero siempre siento su, su amor donde quiera que vaya. Mamá, todo lo que logro es para ti. Espero que te veas reflejada en mí y pronto y prometo lo, lograr todas las cosas que no tuviste la oportunidad de lograr. Gracias por todo y te amo. Recibió su maestría en ciencias de la enseñanza de Johns Hopkins. 
A la Miss Morgan le apasiona enseñar a los estudiantes cómo expresar sus ideas de manera efectiva con los demás y relacionarse con la literatura de manera significativa.
and creating memories that will last a lifetime. As valedictorian and senior class president, I am proud to say I was part of it all. It was an honor serving you all because you helped make senior year one of the most memorable years of my life. And it wasn't just senior year. It was the whole high school experience, from helping plan our first homecoming with Ms. Sellers to doing uh, Zoom classes and being here with all of you, sharing one final moment. It is nice to see all of my hard work, stress, and relentlessness amount to such an accomplishment. I feel like I know each and every one of you because of the memories we created together. Throughout the years, we have accomplished a lot. Together, we have gone through journals, pencils, and even teachers. <laughs> but through it all, we worked our behinds off and did what we had in order to walk across the stage. We went from playing soccer, or in my case, dodging soccer balls during recess time in elementary school, to being able to write a five or six paragraph essay about a topic that was discussed in one of our classes in about an hour. Piece of cake. But now, it's time to take the lessons we've learned in our time at Atlas and make something of ourselves. During my time at Uplift, which according to this green board is like forever, I have seen everyone grow into the people they are today, including the teachers. I know Ms. Morgan's getting big class, that's what I'm talking about. Regardless, they did a lot for us. Ms. Sloan, who was the reason we have most of our experiences this year. Ms. Orsini, who dealt with so many questions that probably could have been found with a few Google searches. <laughs> Ms. Riddick, who was always there to listen to our problems. Mr. Candiotto, who made us think outside of the box with his wisdom. Ms. Padilla, who helped us find fun and beauty in nature. Mr. G, who pushed us to our full potential, whether we wanted it or not. <laughs> Ms. Wagner, who left us to make our own decisions, implementing self-restricting skills. Mr. Shirdo, who I didn't have as a teacher, still taught me to appreciate the little things that make something so big. Ms. Korthoff, who juggled two classes to get us the credits we needed. Ms. Escajeda, who in the time she had us, taught us many beneficial skills that will be useful later in life. Ms. Morgan, who inspired us to do our best while using puns that I personally found hilarious. Mr. Eddy, who helped me write the speech. The administration, who worked vigorously to give us senior privileges that we may or may not have deserved. And Mr. Pratt, who gave us permission for it all. And that's just a handful of the teachers. So I want to say thank you. A thank you to the teachers, a thank you to all of you, and a thank you for the people who got me here, and a thank you for myself. And I think you all should do the same. Because you were the one who did all the work, turned in the assignments, and stayed in school. It was all you, and you deserve recognition for that. I know it wasn't easy, but you made it. También me gustaría dar gracias a Dios por mi familia. Sin ellos, nunca habría estado en pie enfrente de ustedes. A mi hermana mayor que me ha escuchado hablar sobre cualquier cosa sin quejar. A mi hermana mayor que me ha hecho mucho por mí, un agradecimiento ni siquiera le hace justicia. A mi hermana menor que me hace reír incluso cuando no es su intención. <laughs> a mis padres que me han dado todo lo que necesitaba para tener éxito. Gracias. In conclusion, although I am standing here with the highest GPA in class, I'm here to tell you, you do not need that to be proud of yourself. You do not need to seek validation from anyone but yourself because what you did is incredible. You overcame all of the obstacles that try to stop you from reaching this moment. So whether you remember these years with fondness or indifference, I hope you remember them as the beginning of your journey to become someone you have always wanted to be. With that said, life is what you make it. So my last call to action as president is in order to go and make the most of it. One, that better time.
It is my honor to announce the most jingly woman in the room, Joanna Ventura. Camila Sanchez. Mark Chavez. Elisa Adamo. Cesar Aguilar Catalán. Jesus Aguirre Honor. Sebastian Aguirre. Evelyn Alden. Alua Tamilari Allen. Felix Alvarado Lopez. Andrew Alvarado. Armando Ambrosio. <laughs> Natalia Andini. <laughs> Claudia Andini. Viviana Anguiano. Magdalena Aragon Adam. George Arazola Sierra. Joel Avila Nieto. Daniel Azuara. Carolina Pasodu. Emilio Pasodu. April Benavides. Sabrina Cabrera. <laughs> Emily Campos Morillo. <laughs> Janet Campuzano Brown. <laughs> Camila Candioto. Andrea Carlos. Pedro Cervantes. Stanley Chavez Ortiz. Juan Cruces. Isabel Diaz Castillo. Oh, 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 oh. 
Melody, Magdalena, Dueñas, Luis. Yeah. 
Miranda.
Jose Figueiredo. Seniors, please join me in thanking your parents for the huge round of applause. Good work, and I don't know about you, but I am 
tired. <laughs> but it's a good tired. It's a job well done kind of tired. There's no place I would have rather been than here with you. I think a lot about what, what I say in this last one. This is my last chance, right, to impart some knowledge, some wisdom to you. Um, so as you end this chapter in your life, I want to remind you that it's also a beginning of a new one. As you leave this school, you will be embarking on a journey of discovery and growth, and I urge you to embrace that journey with open hearts and open minds. And I want to share with you a quote from my favorite author, Brandon Sanders. It's a quote that has always resonated with me. The quote comes at the end of a story where the main character the entire time is trying to answer a couple of really important questions. What's the most important step a man can take? And what are the most important words a man can say? At the end of the story, we finally get an answer from Sanderson when he says these words to us. The most important words a man can say are, I will do better. The code states, journey before destination. Some may call it a simple platitude, but it is far more. A journey will have pain and failure. It is not only the steps forward that we must accept. It is the stumbles, the trials, the knowledge that we will fail, that we will hurt those around us. But if we stop, we accept the person we are when we fall, then the journey ends. That failure becomes our destination. So to love the journey is to accept no such end. I have found, through painful experience, that the most important step a man can take is always the next one. If those words tell us anything, they should remind us that no matter how far we've come, there's always more to learn, there's more to do, and there's more good to be done in the world. Here's we live in a world that is in a great need for more kindness, more compassion, and more understanding. So as you go out into the world, I urge you to be a force for good. Use your education, use your talents, use your experiences to make a difference in the lives of others. Whether it's through volunteering and advocacy, or simply just being a kind and empathetic person. Remember that even the small acts of kindness and compassion can have a ripple effect, touching many lives around you in ways you may never know or understand have already accomplished so much. Look at where you are. I'm excited to see what you will all achieve. So take that next step with confidence, determination, and with a commitment to making the world a brighter place. Whatever you do, keep going. Keep moving. Don't get stagnant. Don't stop learning and trying and failing and trying harder. Because it's not what the next step you take is that's important. It's simply the act of taking the next step that is so crucial. Go and be great. Whatever that means for you, do great things. Be kind. Taking that next step. Congratulations, graduates. I will miss you. Seniors, please stand. Graduates, you have the honor now of moving your tassel to signify moving on to the next level of learning. Move your tassel from the right to the left side. Followed by our teachers and then our guests. One more time, families, let's give them a huge round of applause.